Good night, Mr. President. Yeah, good work. Everyone, make sure you go home soon. Everyone greets the president as he leaves for home after the regular time. Go home soon, huh? All right, now it's time to get down to business. Get fired up. The man who says this with such passion is named Suetsugu Sugakawa. He's the general manager of our company. This company has about 50 employees. Here, overtime work is supposed to be voluntary, so our overtime hours are not recorded. We all think the president is just putting up a front when he says that, and nobody says anything back. Well, in short, we are company slaves. Oh, it's cold. I'm tired. But in a few days, it'll finally be New Year's Eve, and I'll be off. At 11 p.m., work was done. Snowflakes and the cold wind are hitting my face. Well, my name is Kenichi Hiwada. I'm 32, working for a local trading company. Tomorrow, I'll get up at 7 a.m. and... <laughs> sleep, wake up, eat, and work. Maybe I should change jobs, but I don't even have time to change jobs. Huh? A wallet? I pick it up and sure enough, it's a wallet. It's a little old, but it's a woman's purse. Hmm, I'm in trouble. The police box is in the opposite direction, huh? I don't have a choice. Ah, uh, I was almost home though. The snow is falling, and my white breath is dancing in the snow. Officer, I found something. I finally reach the police box in a cold and shout out, but a wave of drowsiness hits me. Officer, someone lost your wallet. <sighs> okay, it's a wallet, hey? Then fill this form out, please. Uh, are you okay? Huh? Officer, what do you think is the limit of human beings? What's that out of the blue? At any rate, I don't know the answer to that. Work, work, work from morning till night. No laughter, no hope. The director's encouraging words are not work hard, but work harder. <laughs> He doesn't look okay. I made a policeman dumbfounded. Okay, write your name, address, and where you picked it up. Okay. I write down the form as the officer tells me to. Frankly, I can't wait to go to bed. Finally, the reward money. In other words, would you like to get the reward money when the owner of the lost property shows up? Sure. He wants it. Okay. Well, that's the end of the procedure. So you can go home. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Huh? Hiwada-san, are you alright? You seem more lifeless than usual. I picked up a lost item and went to the police box. I've had even less sleep than usual. My head feels heavy. Please, don't take a day off, okay? If you do it, it will be disastrous. Why are you being so negative? Manager... It's another fun day at work! Here, we always have nutritional drinks on stock, so drink up! Now, it's time for the entertainment called work! Work starts the moment you arrive at the office! Don't waste your time! <laughs> well, I think you've got the general gist of my situation. Lack of sleep and enduring the ups and downs of my physical condition, I managed to take a lunch break. Ugh, I don't need lunch. I'm gonna sleep a little. I'm seriously at my limit. Oh, that's better. I know tomorrow is the last work day of the year, but we will probably be late again today because of that. Jeez, it was still better a few years ago. How did this happen? It's true that until a few years ago, we could go home earlier than now. It was only after our general manager, Sugakawa, joined the company that things started to go wrong. He was allegedly a contributor to his previous company's growth. He apparently made a sales pitch about himself like that and came to us. And as it turns out, he just did that by abusing his employees. Who the hell is it? Let me sleep. I glanced at my phone and saw that the number was 110, so I had no choice but to answer. I'm from Love Koi Police. Is this the right number for Kenichi Hibata-san? Yes. Actually, the owner of the wallet you delivered to us last night was found. I was wondering if he could come down to the station once to receive the reward. No, I don't have time for that. After that, he asked me if I could give the owner my contact information, 
and I said yes without thinking and hung up the phone. I can finally sleep. It is now past midnight. I come home and lie down on my bed. Come to think of it, I haven't eaten anything all day. It's alright, I'll go to bed. And lunch break the next day. Again, my precious rest time was interrupted by a phone call. My name is Futaba Nogizawa. I was told that you picked up my wallet. Nogizawa-san? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. The last name sounds familiar, but I decided to let it go, thinking it's just a coincidence. Thank you very much. So about the reward... Oh, it's fine. I was sleepy, so I accidentally set out to get a reward, but I don't need it. But it wasn't that easy. It seems that in this town, even if I wanted to decline, I need to sign the form. Plus, the owner of the lost item can't retrieve the item until the founder officially receives or declines the reward money. So bureaucratic. So on New Year's Eve, after all the work was done, I was to meet Futaba-san at the police station. That's the end of the procedure. You are sure you want to decline? Yes. And she, Futaba Nogizawa, is handed the purse I picked up. Thank goodness. She looks really happy and holds the wallet to her chest. It must have been a very important thing. I wonder if it was a gift from her boyfriend or something. Apparently, she's still a graduate student. And as we were leaving the police station, she called my name. Oh, um, if you don't mind, how about dinner? It's New Year's Eve, so how about soba? What? No, but I declined the reward. Still, I want to thank you. My late grandmother gave me this wallet as a birthday present. Apparently, my guess was wrong. Well, it's a three-day holiday. I would like to go home and sleep as soon as possible, but... Well, it's okay. I understand. You look like you're not happy if I don't agree. So let's go. Oops, I guess it was written all over my face. <laughs> Thank you very much. You should pay back what people did for you. Grandma told me so. I see. I guess it can't be helped then. Well, it is indeed New Year's Eve. There was a long line in front of the soba shop. <laughs> the, that is some super unethical company. Which company is it? We had some free time while waiting, so naturally, we talked about my job. It's called Kurosugi Trading. Well, a company that wholesales to local retailers. What? A few years ago, it was still a good company though. When I said that much, I noticed that Futaba was thinking about something. Oh, I'm sorry. I sounded like I was complaining. Oh, it's okay. I've just been wondering what would make the company go so bad in just a few years. Well, it's just that a company can change just because of one boss. And the president who knows that and doesn't do anything is bad too. Th that's not true! What? Huh? What's up all of a sudden? I was startled by her sudden loud voice, and at the moment, she made a face that said, Oh shoot. <clears throat> In an organization, the voices of the workers are surprisingly unheard by those at the top. The president is very busy, so the number of people who report to him is limited. I see. It is true that the president is often out of the office. He may not have many opportunities to talk with anyone other than his direct subordinates. What I can say is that it is possible that the president is more narrow-minded than you might think. I wonder if that's so. Can he be so insensitive that he can't notice anything? <laughs> He is such an insensitive person, just like you. Just like me? Futaba pulled my sleeve while I was wondering what on earth she was talking about. Ah, look! It looks like it's our turn now. This restaurant has a high reputation. I've always wanted to try it. We ate New Year's Eve soba noodles, and the year ended. However, there were signs of change in the Nogizawa family. Dad! <sighs> It's New Year's Eve, and you're still working? I just thought I would send a final greeting email for the year to my close business associates. Every day after you come home, you stay in your study and work, work, work. Why don't you at least take a break on New Year's Eve? Don't say that. If the president doesn't go home early, it's hard for the others to go home, right? I'm the president. I have to work the hardest for the peace of life of my employees. 
turning around, Futaba's father and the president of my company, Sekito Nogizawa, said so. I'm sorry, but it looks like the situation is far from your ideal, you know? What do you mean? Well... Oh, I have an idea! It is January 3rd. It's the beginning of work after the three-day holiday. Oh, it's cold and snowing. Oh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year! It's really cold, hey? <sighs> work has started. I wonder if I'm going to stay single and work for the rest of my life. We have to work every other Saturday. Summer vacation is less than before, and we spend our free time in bed to prioritize our physical condition. As the new year begins with negative outlook, the president comes to the office. Oh, what? Futaba Nogizawa was walking behind the president. It's my daughter Futaba. She's a graduate student. I've decided to place her in this department as an intern starting today. What? I'm Futaba Nogizawa. I look forward to working with you. And... I'm really looking forward to the great work environment that my father is so proud of. Now then, the person who will be taking care of Futaba is... The president looks around, and there's one person who volunteers. Eh, I'll take care of her. You have the job of a general manager, don't you? You're always saying you're too busy. Okay, Mr. Hiwada, I'll leave her in your hands. And please keep me informed. Huh? So we are a wholesaler that deals with retailers in the neighboring prefectures. In a reception room, I explain about the company to Futaba. It's the president's direct request, so I have no choice. And? What do you want? Since you had the same last name, I thought it might be possible, but... So you really are the daughter of the president, huh? Well, that's all well and good. But there was no talk of an internship until the end of last year? So why the sudden change? It came out of the blue just today. Well, we had already talked about it, and I was going to join the company in April anyway, you know? But I didn't want to be treated specially just because I'm the president's daughter, so I had turned down the internship. But thanks to you, I couldn't stay still anymore. My dad as well. Thanks again for your hard work today, Mr. President. And today, too, we reached the end of the regular work hours. That doesn't mean anything. The president is the first one to go home. Today is the first day of the new year, so everyone should go home early. Futaba, you too. Well then, good night. Um, Miss Futaba, it's your first day of internship, so as the president said, please go home early. The manager confirms that the president has gone out of the office and says that to Futaba with a sickeningly affectionate smile. However... Huh? According to what I heard from my father, everyone always leaves on time, right? I'm a newcomer, so I can't be the first one to go. Everyone, let's go home together. She's so blatant. Ha <laughs> 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 It went just as I planned. In the end, everyone went home on time, as the manager was glaring at Futaba. Outside, it stopped snowing but was cold. But it's been a long time since I've been able to go home at this hour. You know, thank you. You heard my story and it made a move, didn't you? Huh? No, no, that was a cause, but... And considering what that manager might do next? At that time, I received a message on my phone. Oh, shoot. I knew it. Can you screenshot that and send it to me? And no need to go back to the office. Please tell everyone to do the same. And that it's the president's order. The next day, those of us who did not return to the office were gathered in the conference room to be scolded. You guys, why didn't you come back to the office? The boss's order is absolute. You guys should know that. There are plenty of work to do. If you can't find one, I'll tell you what to do. We are day behind because of you guys. How are you gonna take responsibility? It wasn't just us. There were people from other departments as well. Now, did everyone follow his unreasonable order? Well... What? Nobody's coming back? They ignored my orders? That's right. Actually, it was Futaba who made the move while we were gathered in a conference room. Folks, you don't have to come back to work even if you get a message 
later. Ignore it. Do the best you can within the regular work hours. This is a president's order. After a week, everyone's mood has changed. Lately, my skin has started to glow again. I'm so happy. I had given up on it, but I think I'll try to find a boyfriend again. Going home on time was so wonderful. The world seemed to shine. The work environment so far. I could barely put up with it. I was about to reach my limit. Thanks to Taba's presence, the manager became quiet. At least, the atmosphere in the office is rapidly improving now that the problem of working hours has been resolved. Of course, except for the manager. Apparently, I needed to go harder on you guys. One morning, he was holding a bamboo sword in his right hand. His expression was distorted with anger. The president is visiting her clients today for New Year's greetings. Futaba had lectures to attend. That's probably why. Listen up. What I say is absolute. I'll make sure you all get that. However, there were people who objected. Enough is enough. What you are doing is not right. The first to speak up was the chief accountant. N that's right. We can no longer listen to you. What did you say? Don't you people care about your own lives? I can fire you all right away, you know? I see. So that's how you were threatening everyone, huh? Saying that, Futaba came out of the president's office. What? Didn't you go to college? Of course, that was a lie. Anyway, that just now was a terrible thing to say. Who the heck do you think you are? Huh? <laughs> I don't care. I don't give a damn anymore. You stupid cocky girl. I'll discipline you first. Gah! The bamboo sword was swung down. It was my back that received it. He was a son. You protected me. Ouch! He struck me mercilessly. A burning pain spread across my back. What do you think you're doing, P President? Then out of the president's office came the president. Apparently, it was also a lie that he was out greeting the clients. I left it in the hands of my daughter because she told me to. And look what I found out. You seem to be quite something, huh, Sugakawa-kun? I'm very sorry, everyone. It seems I was blind. There were some employees who complained to me in the past, but I made the mistake of listening to this man's eloquent words. Then the president bites his lip in frustration for a moment, and turns a sharp glare at the manager. Fortunately, I can now start to correct my mistakes. First off, you are fired, and someone call the police right away. Police? Wh why? You don't even know what you've done. Somebody get Hiwadakun to the hospital immediately. Don't forget to bring back the medical certificate. And I was accompanied by Futaba to the hospital. I just ended up having a red bruise on my back, and Sugakawa was taken by the police. Strangely enough, the police officer who came in frowned upon seeing the manager's face. After the examination at the hospital, I received a medical certificate. Huh? A medical certificate just for this bruise? And I'm gonna report it to the police? Hey, you're too brainwashed. He is an adult. And should be made to take responsibility for what he did. Okay, that kind of people won't stop until they're punished properly. There will be another victim. Well, I didn't think he would swing a bamboo sword at me, though. Thank you for protecting me. You really saved me. Saying that, she takes my arm. Hey, would you like to go out to dinner somewhere now? Let me buy you. It's a reward date. Date, huh? But no, I've got work to do. I have to go back to the office. My father messaged me. He tells you to go on special leave today and tomorrow. Now, a little while later, Sugakawa was arrested. Apparently, he used to run a fraudulent MLM and had been arrested before. No wonder he was so good at manipulating people. So he had a fraudulent work history, huh? And even until recently, he's been holding seminars for MLM with his friends. It seems that some of my colleagues were also being solicited, which was found out during the interrogation. So he got arrested. 
I thought I was fooling everyone well. By the way, as for her company, the president took responsibility and handed over the company to his daughter. He apologized profusely to everyone and made up the overtime pay. So it seems he really did not intend to make us overwork. So, why am I the assistant to the president? It was a promotion by Futaba's nomination. I don't want any weirdos to join the company, so I need your help. And we're in the red because of that guy. It's giving me a headache. So, to rebuild the company, I first wanted a trustworthy assistant. You delivered my wallet to a police box in the middle of the cold winter night, even though you were going through a lot. I trusted you because of that. So please, work as my right-hand man from now on. Now, let's have dinner together and decide on a future course of action, shall we? She made a slightly mischievous face saying that.